This is a part one of my uh, videos on collapse of Western civilization and future of humans. Let's understand the economic and so social cycles of human societies. So, as always, I recommend you to download presentation as PDF file from the link in the description. You can read yourself, maybe it is more easy. And also you can go to into details to learn about some de uh, details uh, and the, the description and uh, maybe go to sources of information and then it would be better motivation for you to follow my project. The development of human societies and economies is often described by cycles with phases which uh, that reflect patterns in of high growth, stability, decline and change. As example, Kondratiev uh, wave are uh, long-term economic cycles lasting about 50 or to, 70 to 60 years, characterized by alternative periods of high growth and expansion, peaks of prosperity and economic activity, times of stagnation and recession, and eventually times when economic activity slows down before beginning to recover. The periods of recovery and high growth are often associated with cycles of technological innovations and structural changes in the economy and finances. The technological development of the Western civilization can be presented as, as the age of steam and railways, and then age of steel, and, uh, and uh, the age of oil, age of electricity and mass production, and the age of information. This is what we live in now, uh, age of information, age of information technology. So this is, you can learn more about Kondratiev waves. Population cycles in biology are regular cycles of population growth and decline among biological species. They can be a result of the relationship between pred predators and prey, competition for common resources, spreading of infections, etc. Each population cycle tends to last as long as species life expectancy. Also, resource cycle, uh, cycles in human history are driven by discovery and exploration of natural resources leading to economic booms, following by busts uh, when resources are depleted or market conditions change. These cycles describe the relationship between human population growth and resource availability. Periods of population growth can lead to resource depletion followed by periods of stagnation and decline when resources become scarce. Okay, this is a uh, normal uh, population uh, uh, waves in uh, wild nature. So you see, it is again, it is, they are not so long, but it is just uh, experimental fact that it is happening in biology. And humans are, after all, we are biological species. So nothing, uh, we, we have cycles also, but these cycles are much longer, not uh, limited by our lifespan, much longer. So regularity in the development of the ancient civilization draws attention as it can be used to predict social development and plan and counteraction with uh, that uh, dodges the tendencies to decay and build more advanced uh, societies. So ge the generational cycles in human history approximately 80 to 100 years long, and they refer to the four phases of, of uh, it's actually generations with patterns of growth, maturity, decline, and collapse. It is believed that these phases are driven by various factors such as biology of human species, technological advancement, cultural in innovation, uh, environmental conditions, political structures, and economics. Finally, they all repeat in a similar sequence. Understanding these cycles can provide valuable uh, insight into the drivers of uh, change in societies and economies. In this presentation, I will try to explain why we may expect the collapse of Western civilization and how humans can start a new age, new civilization. Okay? So again, it is very common to describe every generation of humans like boomers, uh, generation X, millennials, generation Z and generation alpha. So it is, we, they, all these generations are different actually. Interesting that we're, we're all different. There are many historical examples of social cycles and civiliz or so-called civilization cycles when societies and empires have risen, 
flourished and then uh, declined or collapsed, including ancient Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, classical Greece, Roman Empire, and Mayan and the Mayan civilization. According to Strauss uh, Hope theory, every stage of civilizational cycle lasted around 80 to 100 years or four generations of humans, while the total duration of civilization can be several hundred years or longer if two or more civilizational cycles are counted. The ancient uh, Chinese civilization is often considered one of the long, longest lasting in human history, with recorded history over 4,000 years and the rise and fall of its various dynasties. The, Thai, the Tang uh, dynasty is often considered one of the most prosperous and stable periods of Ch in uh, the Chinese history, lasting for nearly three centuries, but it, again, it just overlapping of three uh, civilization cycles. So this collapse of uh, Western uh, Roman Empire, Empire, so it was, yeah, terrible actually. So various theories and models of the social or civilizational uh, cycles describe the first stage of the society development as a period of creativity, innovation and expansion during which new technologies and institutions emerge and spread. This stage is followed by a period of consolidation, prosperity and maturity when the society, or we can uh, talk about civilization, reaches its peak of power, wealth and cultural achievement. However, however, as the civilization ages, it may become increasingly hierarchical, conservative and stagnant, leading to a period of decline and eventual collapse. There are many indications that the Western civilization is already in decline with a stage of collapse in the not so distant future. This is what we see around the collapse. I was talking about this in my other videos. You can watch them. It's again, it is terrible what is happening now. So a doom and a gloom forecast is not anything new in our history. So Oswald uh, Spengler uh, predicted that about uh, that this collapse about year 2000, and um, that he said that Western civilization uh, would enter a period of pre-death emergency that would lead to 200 years of decadence before Western civilization final collapse. Okay, it's again it is. I have different opinion, but in, in principle, all this cycling, the idea of cycling is well known. So his best known work uh, covering human history is uh, so-called Decline of the West. You can read them. Uh, many people, uh, you can find many uh, videos on uh, YouTube uh, about this uh, book and about his theory. So there are, have been uh, many other individuals throughout hu human history who have, uh, who have predicted or warned about the collapse of Western civilization, include, including Edward Gibbon, uh, Arnold uh, Toynbee, okay, so you can read uh, my pronunciation, probably not so best. The timing of the collapse of Western civilization, according to these notable figures, notable uh, individuals, varies significantly. Yet it is believed that the sign of disintegration and collapse uh, were already present in the end of the 20th century. So this what is again in many videos and many many uh, movies uh, this presented as coming collapse of this human civilization would be a nuclear war would be it is natural collapse of civilization so it, it depends but okay it's again as this doom and gloom scenarios are very popular many researchers consider the present uh, a globe uh, encompassing a civilization because again our civilization we, we call it western civilization but it is actually global so this is it differ in difference from ancient civilization like roman empire or chinese empire they were yeah located in some areas not global now we have global civilization so again this um, civilization it is uh, and quite similar to natural ecosystems with wealthy elites as uh, can be presented as predators who prey on less well of commoners. Again, we are biological species. We have this <coughs> uh, uh, interaction between wealthy and uh, less wealthy commoners uh, the same like in biology, in ecology. 
When extreme inequality in population uh, coincide with resource depletion, the collapse is inevitable and irreversible. So Marxism and neoliberalism uh, were both driven by the end historic narrative. And equal distribution of resources was proposed as a countermeasure, a uh, so-called communism or social quit equity. And the equal distribution is supposed to be independent of, of, of the individual, individual's personal intelligence quotient or is their contribution to society. Okay, but <laughs> when it was implemented historically, attempts to implement communism and socialism ended in mass killing with a total number of far more than 100 million victims and the quality of survivors in misery and despair. So I was born in Soviet Union and my uh, grand, uh, uh, great grandparents were killed by communists and it is again number of uh, victims is huge. Uh, in total it's more than 100 million uh, victims and it is only for uh, to give the idea of the paradise on, on, on this planet, not uh, after death, but again, it is, it is terrible. So it, is, it just doesn't work, it doesn't work. So it is suffering of people is so huge, so disastrous. It is Venezuela, for example, and uh, you can see it, it's m many uh, civilization. Okay, so it is, again, I, I, you can go deeper in more details and I will explain in, in my next videos. So please, if you want to support my project and um, extend or give it to uh, a thousand years, maybe to live forever young, healthy, then the minimum what you can do is uh, press uh, uh, subscribe button and uh, subscribe button and bell button and share this information with your relatives and friends. Also, you can uh, communicate with my Telegram channel and uh, you can support this, uh, this project. I believe we can live forever young and uh, we are, we, our body is designed to live forever young. But again, what we, uh, it's again, you have to consider that uh, medical care is actually, and our, all this, our philosophy is different. So we have to break these rules. We have to make breakthrough to infinite life, to, to live forever young, or at least a few hundred years, or maybe a thousand years forever young, or oh, a, a thousand years young and healthy. Okay, uh, have a wonderful day, ciao, ciao, watch my next videos on it.